Freeze. Put your hands up where I can see them. Whoa, 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 who the fuck are you? YouTube copyright police. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to use the Ghostbusters theme in your video. Kind of like that godforsaken Good Boys review you made a few years ago, which for some reason people enjoyed. Remember when you use I want to know what love is in that video? Yeah, we're trying to stop you again this time from getting another copyright strike. We know what you're trying to do. Okay, so what should I do? First of all, put your hands down. Second of all, do what everybody else does. Sit your ass down and make a movie review like everybody else. When will you learn? Alright, alright, I guess I can do that. Damn, YouTube ain't no fun anymore. What's up guys, my name is Shawnee Teebs, and today on Teebs Reviews, we are going to be doing a review of the long-awaited installment in the Ghostbusters series. And yes, I say long-awaited because that 2016 film was just atrocious, and I will never watch that again. But anyways, let's get right into the review. I have been waiting so long for this movie to come out and I got to go see it this weekend. And this movie, I waited so long for. And you guys might be thinking, you know, this is the part where I say, I've been waiting so long for it and it was awful. No, this movie had everything. This had everything a Ghostbusters fan could possibly want. From references to the old Ghostbusters movie, to great new characters, and also to great casting. I mean, everyone in this movie was fantastic. We have McKenna Grace who plays Phoebe, who killed that role, by the way. We have Paul Rudd who plays Mr. Gruberson, and how do you hate Paul Rudd? That's like one of the most likable guys on the planet. And Finn Wolfhard, who plays Trevor. Y'all might know Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things, so if you're a Stranger Things fan, please go watch this movie. It was fantastic. The story follows Callie and her two children. They find out that a house has been left in their name, and it belonged to one of the original Ghostbusters. And I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but you could probably figure it out. But this movie was so good, the plot was so well written, and the plot was kind of towards the end like the original Ghostbusters movie, which is one of the things I enjoyed a lot about it. So Callie and her two children make their way out to the middle of nowhere to this old, abandoned, creepy house that was left by their family member. And slowly, the kids figure out that their grandfather was a Ghostbuster. Callie already knew this and she never told her kids. This outrages Phoebe because Phoebe is wicked wicked into science like her grandfather. And she could have learned from him and bonded with him over science and this absolutely destroys her. Finding out that he was a Ghostbuster and really into science as much as her. Throughout the story, they get more and more involved with the Ghostbusters theme. The Ghostbusters car makes a return with that awesome wailing siren. That is absolutely beautiful. And the scene where Phoebe swings out of the car and is fighting ghosts. I'm a little jealous of like, that's something I would love to do as a huge Ghostbusters fan, you know what I mean? But throughout the movie, they get more and more involved and learn more and more about the Ghostbusters. Uh, they get more and more involved with the equipment. At first, they don't really know how to use it. They're just kind of like figuring it out as they go along, you know, which is something great to see that these kids don't know what the f they're doing. And it's just, it makes the movie that much funnier. This movie had so many Easter eggs, so many jokes that were cracked along the way. And it was very, very enjoyable. Um, and also, the best part, yes, there is cameos from Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and Ernie Hudson, which just tops it all off. I mean, that was the best part of the whole movie. And they do reference a few parts from the original Ghostbusters with those three guys in the movie, which, and there's some funny lines in there from the original Ghostbusters that you guys just absolutely have to go see this movie. I enjoyed the hell out of it. This film gets five Bill Murrays out of five. I mean, this movie, I waited so long for, and it was not a letdown. It was just two hours of pure enjoyment and nostalgia for me. Someone who loves, loves Ghostbusters. Arguably one of my favorite movies ever. And like I said, long-awaited installment, and not that godforsaken 2016 movie they made. So, if you guys have the time, please go check this movie out. It was fantastic. I mean, it's just... Oh my god. I, <laughs> I can't even describe it. You guys, just please, please go see it. Please go see this movie. I highly, highly recommend it. You know, take the family out, go see it. It is a family movie. You know, you can definitely take the family to go see it. So yeah, that is my review. If you guys enjoyed this video, first things first, please hit that subscribe button. That means the world to me. Hit that like button, comment what I should review next, and also what I should react to on this channel. And also follow the main channel. We just hit a thousand over there. We're trying to grow that channel up big. So thank you for watching this video, guys. I really, really appreciate you. I'll see you guys later.